Welcome to video 89 in series 3 and in this video we're going to set up the gun. Okay, so I'm going to set up this M4A1 as an item first of all, that's what this video is about, so that we can pick it up, put it in the inventory or throw it, and hopefully we'll get to see a couple of script execution problems by the end of the video once it's set up, hopefully. If we don't, well then I'll just make a few minor alterations to some of the item scripts anyway, just so that you don't encounter the problem, because you never know when you might encounter it. It's not a hard and fast thing. There's a bit of stuff in the background that happens that we can't see with the script execution. Okay, uh, so coming to this model here, first of all, the rotation it's in it's facing in the wrong way and i don't usually use uh, the models as they are like this i usually put them inside of another game object so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make an empty game object it's position at the correct location i'll call it assault rifle i will then just take it and drag it outside and you could have also done game object clear parent and then i'll drag in the actual assault rifle inside of it and then just flip it so 180 okay so now both it and uh, the well now the actual game object is facing in the correct direction which is important uh, so that we get stuff done in the right way and uh, then i just have this model uh, which i've just flipped around okay so that's pretty good now I need to set it up. Well, first of all, I'll just set it as an item. And uh, from there, I guess I'll go to, I know I'll add a uh, rigid body as my first item. Set the mass to something like 15 and add a uh, box collider. And I'll change uh, the dimensions of the box collider. You can see it's massive. So I'll change it to like 0.1. 0.4 and the Y and Z it needs to be longer so I'll change that to like uh, 1.7 and it's sticking out a little bit too much in the front so I'll just put Z uh, on the center to minus 0.1 okay next I'll add an animator and I'll just disable it for now because I'm actually going to in a moment I will actually uh, put it on the player uh, to begin with so that way i can see how it looks as i'm setting it up okay so go to the scripts go to the uh, master scripts and then just drop drop on this uh, item master and then go to the item scripts and let's start putting them on and not the item ammo script so it's not an ammo clip but to do attach the item animator and i'll just drag in the animator to fit that slot and so in a, in a later video, we'll make our own animations, you know, like the gun drawing, the idle animation, which is just sitting still, and uh, shooting and reloading. So we'll make all of those uh, later, not right now. And uh, let's keep going. So item colliders, uh, size one. Okay, and that collider is this box collider. As for the physic material, I'll attach rubber. Okay, item name. So I've written that already, but I'll copy that here, put it here, make sure it matches and it gets set up on when the system starts up. Uh, okay, item pickup, then item rigid bodies, and there is a rigid body. I'll just drag it from here. Done. Uh, next, item set layer. So the throw layer and the pickup layer item is the throw layer and remember this has to be spelled correctly and weapon is the pickup layer so if once i do attach it to the player i should remember to at least just change the layers to uh weapon uh, so that way you know it doesn't uh, go through objects and the camera is looking at it properly when it's on the player uh, when it's not on the player then it uh, it shouldn't be uh, set to the weapon layer in fact, why don't I just set it to the item layer? Since I know it needs to be, I might as well just set it to that right now. Okay, uh, let's keep going. And so that was the item set layer. Item set position. So this is, yeah, is about where it is relative to the player when it's picked up. So let's set this right now. I know what the values are. 
so 0.49 uh, minus 0.27 and a 0.76 so this will place it just at the nice place on the player well, it looks good okay uh, item sounds so I am actually going to use a jump sound. Yep, sounds crazy, but uh, I guess it is. But it sounds all right. It actually works out just fine. Okay, so then the uh, item tag. And the item tag is just item. Uh, item throw. And first of all, yes, it can be thrown. And I'm pretty sure I called it throw. I'll just check in a moment. And throw force, like 200. So let's just go check that. Edit, project settings, input. Yeah, it's throw. OK, so that's what I named the button. Uh, so let's go back to the rifle. Let's keep going. Uh, so the next item script. Uh, and that the last one is just the item UI. So when we've made a uh, UI for the gun, uh, then we'll attach it here. Okay, so what should happen? So I expect what will happen now is that when I do run it, the gun should drop to the ground, and I should be able to pick it up. Okay, let me try that. Ah, there we go. Good. So there's the script execution problems showing up right now. It's very convenient that they've shown up. So it, it, it just, it's pretty random. Like sometimes it will not show up, sometimes it will. So this time I just got lucky and actually it did. So what I need to do is to open up each of these scripts and make some very minor changes. What's happening is, well, I'll open it up and show you. Okay. So here on the item set position script, it's complaining that, Hey, you know what? Uh, I can't actually, uh, compare this tag because it's actually not set up. It, apparently the game manager references script is running so slowly that this tag is not taking the field that, that public field that we type in and passing it into this global variable. So this is kind of another lesson as well for me as well that this is another reason why global variables can be are not so good because in this case it's taking a long time for this to get set. Well the fix though is very very easy and all I need to do is to say void start so bring back the start method and take set position on player cut it out from there and put it here from on enable to start and so that way uh, when the game object starts up and the script runs this method then it will go ahead and uh, set the position on the player. We'll get this reference rather. So we'll get the reference and not complain that this uh, thing is some null thing or whatever. Okay, anyway, so that's the first one. Now the next one is uh, the item set layer script. And once again, something uh, just of exactly the same nature is happening. And this is set layer on enable, so it's complaining about that. So what I need to do here is to just also put it in the start method. So void start. And then just uh, cut that out and put it in the start method. Now in the item rigid body script, again, exactly the same thing. Uh, popping up here. So once again, uh, this needs the same treatment. So void start. And just cut that out. Check if starts in inventory. Put it in the start method. And this is why having lots of methods with as minimum, as minimum amount of code in them helps as well. So that you can actually uh, move where they're called about as you need to. Okay, let's go to the next one. So now the uh, item colliders script, again, exactly the same kind of problem. So I'll just uh, put here void start. And yeah, as I told you, this is a lot easier than trying to fiddle around with the script execution business. I prefer just doing it like this and making minor modifications to the code and then not worrying about it from there. Okay, so let's try that again, see if there are any more problems. Uh, it looks like nothing is showing up, so those were pretty simple fixes. Hopefully that was all of it. And uh, there's the gun, so I'll just get rid of these blocks. And yep, 
that looks like it's working. Nice, it gets in the inventory, I can throw it. How about I pick up the throwing blocks, pick up the gun. Uh-huh, yep, there's the gun. And of course the position is all messed up. And don't worry about that, ah! Because we'll, we'll fix that shortly. When we have the animator working, the gun idle animation will automatically uh, sort out the uh, way the gun is facing for us. Uh, that sorted him. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you can see that he looks a bit better too. Hey, I did think that my uh, setting of the standard shader in the previous chapter wasn't quite right, so I'm glad I changed that. Okay, so that's it. I hope you don't have any issues once you've set up the gun. Just remember, there's those four scripts that you need to uh, give minor edits to. What was happening was that the um, uh, game manager references, uh, it's just simply, I'll show you right now, let me just stop this playing. So this game manager references going to uh, this player tag, the way it works, it takes this variable that we type in in the inspector and then assigns it to a global variable. Uh, and that operation, uh, though it happens in on enable, this on enable is happening after all of these ones run. I don't know why it just happens like that sometimes. Sometimes it's no problem, sometimes it's a problem. You can see that for the throwing blocks it's no problem, but for the assault rifle it is a problem. So you, you can't really tell when it's going to be a problem that easily. So th this is something just to be aware of, uh, that script execution order business is important. And probably in future I would try as much as possible to avoid using global variables because this has now reminded me like, you know, I've learned something and I've also experienced this before now that I recall it, uh, that it, you can get uh, these sort of hiccups uh, with it and it sometimes is just easier uh, to just change the code so, you know, you manually go find the script and then access the information that you need at the appropriate time and when you type stuff in, in the inspector, uh, in the inspector for the script it is there automatically there's no delay whatsoever so if you try and reference it from another script in on enable it will find the piece of information uh, that you've written there because it's in the inspector it's already assigned in the variable right away when you start the game okay anyway i've rambled on probably uh quite enough and this video has gone on long enough uh, so thanks for watching and i think in the next video we'll be doing gun animations all right see you then